So as we're seeing all these paintings as we do this, what, what's your thought, and, and it's been interesting all this time, that you know, most, most artists like you want to show their paintings in galleries to the public. And you seem to have not wanted to do that. What's, what was your philosophy behind that? Uh, yeah. And not a bad thing at all, but... Um, I had uh, uh, 18 by 24 canvas. You might remember, and it was a locomotive, steam locomotives, and it had a string of cars behind it. Not the one I have in the den now, but the that one. And I exhibited it at a gallery. And I don't remember, it was on McAdam. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eleanor was the lady's name. But she said, you, if you want to sell these, you have to stop thinking of them as your children. And it's a, a, a good way to put it because, you know, you have something you prize. And I, I didn't need the money. You know, I made good money at what I was doing. So, uh, not needing the money, I could treat them like my children. So. Interesting, yeah. I knew that was the way you thought. I was just curious. To, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of painters, they want to get their paintings out and get famous, you know? Yeah. Um, and you've never really done that. But your uh, your paintings are museum quality, so. Yeah. I, um, I would say in hyperrealism, probably. Mm -hmm. And I, this is not an ego statement at all. I'm very humble with the gift, but uh, probably top 75, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I take, subscribe to a lot of art magazines, or three. I see a lot of work in there and I just say, and then there are certain artists uh, that I know by name and they are so awe-inspiring. Um, so you've never gone to the coast and see those um, galleries with the guy who does nothing but waves for sale? <laughs> Even though the waves are really cool, <laughs> that's that, all he does. That'd is, be Jeffrey Hall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or Thomas Kincaid, for that matter. <laughs> well, yeah, it's... Um, oh, I can't remember. I think it's in Cannon Beach. He had one gallery. Yeah, all waves. So you don't consider yourself? I mean, I can imagine that Thomas, someone like Thomas Kincaid, all he did was make those paintings for sale. Yeah. You know, they were his babies. You know, so it makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, that was his living. Yeah. Had to eat. Hmm. Maybe the best art artist is a starving artist. <laughs> yeah. Well, you say you say you do hyper realism. But the, you said you also did this painting, you made this painting up. Hey, what? So you said your style is hyper-realism. I, I would say that, yeah. But this this painting, you, you thought up. Mm-hmm. But it's hyper-realism still, isn't it? Yeah. Notice the, on a cold day, exhaust. That indicates me, he just stopped there. Ask directions. Cars running. Hmm. I like I like the the old car. What um, you know? There's the the house and the barn. But what what drives you to the this kind of kind of car? Hmm. It, well, to me, it's sentimental in a way because that's. Um, Brand new Cadillac Escalade wouldn't add anything to a painting like this, you know. So it's kind of memories, mm -hmm. if you will. <laughs>